Uh, yeah, I'm very sorry for this. So um, my presentation today is about our um, experience uh, with the formative assessment during the early days of the lockdown here in Ireland. Um, so we used the Socrative, which is a web based or cloud based open or student response system and also the Zoom platform, which is a video conferencing, as you know, for the physiology teaching uh, here in UCC. Um, so um, for, for the introduction, I think for uh, us as academics, we saw that we had a, a very sudden shift in teaching from the face to face or on campus to online teaching. And uh, if we talk about numbers here in Ireland, we have more than 225,000 students uh, for the higher education, mostly in public universities. And also our neighbors, if you talk about the UK, we have much more number of students there. So it's, we are talking about near 2 million students. And this shift means um, that the universities and schools were closed in Ireland uh, around the 12th of March and also in the UK, relatively near to this time. Um, the closure means that actually we had to adapt to some of the uh, technologies and also mainly to keep uh, the communication with our students using the video conferencing tools. So these video and audio conferencing tools uh, were utilized because um, they, they foster the communication between the lecturer and the student, but in the same time also between students themselves. But most importantly, and this is why actually we looked at it, is because they also allow the opportunity to provide feedback to students during this time of isolation. Much more importantly, and also an extension to, to the first presentation, is the effective support for students who are actually going back to their uh, home. And uh, in our class, we have students from different geographical backgrounds. They feel isolated, and this will give them a sense of inclusion. And uh, it's a potential, actually, for any coming study to look at how this is going to support students during the lockdown. So um, uh, if you talk about studies in the literature, um, Norway for, is an example. Academics there utilize Zoom, for example, for their online teaching during the, the early days of crisis. But if we look at this percentage, which is high percentage, only 30% of those academics, they have previous experience with online teaching. Socrative, on another hand, which I, as I said, is a cloud-based uh, student response system, uh, it was used extensively and also by us. We had experience in using it with our students for formative assessment, which uh, actually was positively received uh, when we used it for the face to face teaching is another thing that we wanted to include for our formative assessment. So these web based platforms, if we look at these in terms of the literature and studies whereby um, these platforms were used, we can see that um, in, in, in particular for physiology teaching, there is no studies in the literature to show that they have been used for the early years before we call them the preclinical years in our program here in UCC, which is the graduate entry to medicine. While also if we look at Socrative, on another hand, there is no study in the literature to show it's used in the real time, but now in the virtual classroom setting, which is the thing that we had to move during the COVID crisis. So our aims, why we looked at this, is to investigate the use of this approach for the formative assessment, which we used to give is as face to face or on campus. And this is going to be now through the integration of the Zoom video conferencing with our online response system, which is Socrata. Uh, we were interested particularly in the students attitude towards this approach and how they perceived that and in the same time, how this added to their understanding of the material that we gave as pre-recorded lectures. Um, in addition to that, there's other tools that we used online and we were interested in knowing how students received these by the end of this module, which um, to us was exceptional in terms of the work done in order to achieve that. So the methods that we used as a physiology uh, part of a module that is 10 week module, it's the clinical or the preclinical years of the graduate interim medical program, and uh, it's uh, in involved four formative assessments delivered synchronously online, whereby we use uh, the type of question which is called single based best item questions, which is popular in this program here in UCC. 
And for that, we used both Socrative and also Zoom virtual meetings. And by the end of that, we uh, published a survey questionnaire for students to voluntarily fill and send back to us. And it's also uh, anonymous. So that was sent through the virtual learning environment canvas, which is recently um, uh, obtained for this university. And so we have also a new experience in using uh, canvas. So the setting that we used for for to, for this uh, particular approach is that the host would this is pre session would schedule the meeting and with that there will be a link and also a password to be sent to students through their emails uh, through the canvas, which is a virtual learning environment. And then students will also be provided with the instructions. So how is going to be the um, the session? What is the number of the questions and how long the session will be? These information will be sent before the session. And once the session starts, then the instructor will share their computer screen just like the way I'm doing it now. And the students will view it as we can see it now. So the students will see the screen for the presenter and will also see the questions that are going to be posed. Um, students will be given some time in order to answer these questions. But finally, and most importantly, the feedback will be provided immediately through the system, which is Socrative, but in the same time, verbal feedback can be given to students uh, if there is a dividing in the percentage of the answering the correct answer. And so this is a very good approach if um, peer instruction is intended, whereby there is going to be posting of a question without the answer, and then there could be re-voting if it is required, if the answer is divided between the class. So this is a picture of the Zoom Socrative kind of integrated um, approach that we used. And we can see here that the student will see this uh, in front of them. So they see the question, they see the items and how they answered as a class. So this is the good thing about it is that for the instructor will be able to see what is the percentage of the correct answer. For the student, they will see the immediate feedback. And at the same time, they will also see other students in the class, how they answered the, that question. So in terms of the survey demographics, so um, we obtained kind of 64% of the response to the survey and those divided as female, male, female, male, and also students from Europe. And we have, as I mentioned, the class is uh, from different backgrounds in terms of the age, in terms of the geographical background, and also in terms of the degree. Some of them, they are coming from biological, some are, are coming from non-biological background. But the, the important thing here is that when we compared the demographics for this cohort who responded to the survey, it was comparable to the demographics of the whole class, which is something that um, we uh, were looking for carefully so that this survey is going to be a representation of the whole class. For some of the results that we obtained, for example, what is the preferred mode of the online resources that we provided? Um, students liked the interactive Zoom and Socrative tutorials. Um, they, there is also a number of things that were popular, for example, the pre-recorded lectures, uh, supplementary videos that we also uh, uploaded, and at the same time, some macro hill uh, quizzes that were provided to students. But as we can see, the Socrative Zoom tutorials were popular between students. And as a reminder of the uh, pancake and pedagogy, um, this is a pie chart to show the attitude and the attendance of students. And we can see that there is high percentage of students who attended many of these uh, or, or at least 50% of the four formative assessment that we've done through this approach. When we looked at the students um, kind of uh, liking of this approach, it seems that it is it ranked highly. So uh, they strongly agree that is uh, it's an effective approach for their learning, though and a limitation for the study. We did not look imperatively as how this is going to affect their performance or their understanding in a study. So some, this is something uh, as, a as a potential for um, a future study possibly. Uh, the student attitude towards pre-recorded lectures, because we provided these pre-recorded lectures to them, we were uh, interested in looking at how they used it, and you can see there is high percentage of them who utilize them, though there is few students, like three students mentioned that they did not use these recorded lectures, it, it, it also deserves to be looked at what is the reason behind that. In terms of the the comparison between the recorded lectures and also the um, 
the non-narrated PowerPoint slides, we can see that the, the students liked more the narrated or the pre-recorded lectures more than the non-narrated PowerPoint slides. And if they were given the choice, the selection is between whether um, they like the online, so this is the real-time lecture or the pre-recorded lecture. It seems they are divided uh, around that. But it will also give us a hint that students would not would like to bind to a certain time since they are coming from different regions or from different areas. Some of them they will have early morning, some of them they will be in the late evening. So this is for them, it's more flexible to have the pre-recorded lecture. So my concluding remarks from this uh, is that it's a feasible means of delivering the real time and in the same time synchronous formative assessment to students. Um, the stu this approach also allowed them to assemble and so it is a, a form of including them again in the process. So now they are isolated, we are bringing them back, they are it's open to discussions and there is also potential to have them to discuss between themselves if rooms uh, are available now for Teams or also already available for Zoom. Uh, students regarded this approach very positively. It indicates that it has some impact on their uh, at least uh, approach of learning during this difficult time of the COVID. Finally, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues, uh, Dr. Macri, who helped in the uh, who helped in this study and he conceived the idea of the the, the uh, integration of these two platforms, and Dr. Uh, Elizabeth Brent, who helped in blinding the data and also um, uh, distributing the survey and ob obtaining the data from students. I would like to thank you very much and I apologize again for the glitch that happened. Uh, due to uh, possibly using team um, um, reasonably and newly for my side. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mohammed. That was what an amazing talk. And can everyone uh, just put their favorite clapping or applause gif in the chat? Because uh, despite a late start, you've still managed to uh, end bang on time. So I think that <laughs> deserves a, uh, a little uh, yeah, there we go. A applause. Maybe. Thank you, Chris. So, does anybody in the chat have any questions? I think everyone's finding their gifts first. Um, I, I have one question. With the um, you said Please. that there's a slight limitation with um, yeah. not, not kind of following through to see whether there's an impact on their actual kind of uh, learning. Is that a plan that you? Is that something that you want to investigate? Yeah, although um, there is also some some challenges in doing that because we are bound spe especially for this program, the graduate entry for medicine is a little bit of um, something um, special in dealing with because in this case, if we needed actually to compare between two cohorts, it means that we are going to give the pre-recorded lectures and also we are going to do the Socrative uh, and Zoom approach to one cohort and then compare this to a cohort who did not receive that, which is something kind of um, is going to be challenging, but we need to look at that uh, maybe at least voluntarily. We ask the students if they want to opt in these approaches um, or this session of Zoom and Socrative and for students who opted not to do that and maybe will be able to compare between these uh, two um, type of students. Brilliant, thank you. Um, is there any other questions in the chat? 